Welcome to the Happy Vanna Pokemon Podcast with your hosts, Dan and Nick. We talk about everything Pokemon. Oh yeah, and today we are going over the Gardevoir V Battle deck. Yes! Goes against the Zacian uh, V Battle deck. And let me tell you, there's something pretty interesting about this one. Why is it a Zacian V Battle deck? I'm not the Blastoid. I'm, I'm just guessing here. Oh. <laughs> just throwing stuff out well, there. Well, it's a V Battle deck. V Battle deck go. Okay. Isn't it's the V Battle deck. What about the uh, the uh, the other V Battle deck? The um, Victini. Oh, is that a thing? Come on. Okay. Stay up on okay, your okay, stuff. Okay. Well, no, because actually, a Zacian and Gardevoir are arch nemesis. Okay. Yeah. Because so. you know, dogs hate. Ladies getting wedded. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> it's worth a shot. No, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm probably wrong on that. But you know what? It's fine. That's what we're going with. Yeah. Right? And so the different thing about this is uh, it has a difficulty on it. And it's only one Pokeball of difficulty. Oh, right? So it's that, that's something new that they're starting to put on there. Which it's I think is good. I think... Levels. Yeah, I think Play that... Play level. Level that, one. Well, I think that's good, too. Yeah. I think this really could help. Because then... Who knows? They might make uh, pre-made competitive decks. Yeah, right. That'd be cool, right? Well, and would they do? Not really. I mean, though. the league battle decks are competitive decks. Not like you could you could take that. So you can take the uh, the ADP deck and go into league and play. That league battle deck. You could play, ADP. but I don't know if you like. I, your games would be close, but I don't think he'd win. Right, because I think people know how to work around it now. But when it came out, I think you would have a good shot at winning a lot. Yeah, well, here's the thing about those, though. Pokemon, they can't, like, put too many good like good cards in them, because right. then they'd be losing money. Right. Because some of the cards just have so much value. Right. Which and is a little ridiculous. it brings down the value of the cards, so you yeah. can't do that. So, now the Inteleon League Battle deck, we'll have to see how good that is. I haven't played it yet, but we'll I see how even, that is. We haven't even gone over it yet. No. So, that's Expect that like. soon. So, and then there's the Victini V deck that we got to go over. So, there's a lot of stuff still yeah. to, to go. So Yeah. All right. Well, so. you ready for the fact? Yeah. It's a really good one today. Yeah, I think it's fact. really interesting. So, all right. So, Mew in Pokemon Red and Green in Japan was an Easter egg. So, basically, even the game, the game developers didn't even know Mew was in the game. Really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so Mew was pretty much a mistake, which is crazy, because Mew is such a big, like, legendary Pokemon. Now, right, and know? people love Mew. Yeah. So. so that's re- I thought that was really crazy. That's pretty neat. Yeah. See, so. I told you it was a good one. No, it was a good one. It was a good one. All right, and then I guess Go is next. I haven't played any Go. Well, in a while. I've been playing a lot of Go. A lot um, of... Yeah, I got my Volto. Oh, got that's my, nice. Um... I got my Xerneas, which we talked about last time. Yeah. I just got today the Regirock. Oh, Regirock is cool. Yeah, so now I just got to get my Regigigas and Regice and Registeel. And, yeah. yeah. I was going to say in Regigigas well, again, but. We can say Regigigas again. Well, he's the best out of all of them. Yeah. So that's what I got to get. So people invite me to play uh, Pokemon, and I will come and play because I love to play Pokemon Go. Yeah. So invite me. I like to play, and uh, invite me to your battles, because I like to win battles. Um, I might not be the strongest one, but I put a lot of effort into it. That That's good. That's good to hear. Yeah. And, uh, hey, let let us know. Um, I've actually been thinking, maybe I like we can talk about, like, the game, like, like the, like, for the Switch, you know? Oh, you want to talk about the game for the Switch? Well, just, like, not, not 100%, maybe more of, like, Pokemon Showdown stuff. Okay. You know what Pokemon Showdown is? No. So basically, it's this website where it's like the game, except you don't have to spend as much time on it. Right. You kind of have your list of Pokemon, then you could choose, like, what stats you'd want to max out, and you can, like, choose the level you want for your Pokemon, and you can choose, um, items you want on your Pokemon and their moves and all that. Oh. So you don't have to, like, spend, like, a ton of time playing the game. Right. Like, for hours grinding, getting all your Pokemon to level 100, getting good Pokemon, getting all the good EVs and IVs. But I thought that was an idea. Let us, it's a good idea. I yeah. like it. Let us know what you think about it. 
I mean, we'll get into that. Yeah, because I could, I could like, uh, I don't know, make a team every week and tell you guys what I think about it. Yeah. And all that. So you ready to do our pack then? Yeah. All right, let's get on to our live stream here. <sighs> oh, and uh, we're in a different spot today, probably. We are in a different that spot. That chair slide. So. Don't normally have that, you know. How's it going? Oh, we're already live. We're, no, we're checking connection. That's oh. what we're doing. Well, we're getting pretty into it's the live. It's getting close to the live. No face cam today? Oh, face cam. Sorry. Well, it's fine. I mean, Here we, we are. We didn't need to. Uh, yeah. Different See, spot today. Different spot today. So, uh, here we are today. Uh, this is Happy Vanna 2020. And we are going to open a pack of Battle Styles. Battle Styles. So. The newest, the greatest, and the latest. Oh, here it is. Right? And it oh, yeah. is right there. There's the battle styles we are going to open. But just to let you guys know, we still have our raffle going on for the uh, Nido Queen and the Metal Frying Pan, which is the lead promo. And the Nido Queen is the team up pre release or battle pack, whatever you want to call it. And everybody's favorite, the Charizard from Team Up with the Team Up. Uh, the team, the team up logo. Logo, I guess. I don't uh, know. But it is the promo, Font. and it's from the, it's from the battle deck. Battle yeah. Pack, so. Yeah. Oh, and so well, is aren't yeah. aren't the Chilling Rain pre-releases out? Um, I don't know if the pre-releases are out yet of Chilling Rain. Cause um, I it's think it's coming soon. I think I may have seen a Poke Bros video. Like, they were just, I think Poke Bros was just going over what's coming out in Chilling Rain. Oh, were they? Okay. Yeah. So, Shout out Poke Bros. Yeah. So, hey, Poke Bros, if you're out there, we're live and we're going to be opening this pack. Yeah. Or if you're oh, watching the video, leave a comment. Yeah. We're watching uh, the battle styles. So, yeah. So, our raffle is going to be ending this weekend. So, it is free. So, everybody, please feel free to, to, to go to our... Um, uh, si our our fa our Instagram page and sign in and um, look at the Charizard picture of the card and sign up for the raffle because why not? I'm giving them away for free. Yeah, free so things are always good. It's always good to get a free card. You don't lose anything so because it's free. When you get a free card, that's what you need to do. You need to sign up and then we give you a free card. All right, what are we if guessing for the energy? We're guessing steel. I'm guessing darkness. Okay. There it's it is. It's the it's common fire. fire. All right, let's see what we got here. Ooh, Karina's focus. Nice. Per ugly. Per ugly. Haunt crow. Haunt I like haunt crow. He's haunt one of my crow. favorite uh, Pokemon, actually. Yeah. At least for darkness, because he has the nice hat. Hey, Fernando. Esper. Bill Bug. Bill Pug. Or is it Blip Bug? It's Blip Bug. It could Bug. be Blip Bug. Yeah, go with that. Yeah. Silicobra. Silicobra. Hound Hour. Lickitung. Ooh, Galarian Slowbro. Is that hollow? A reverse. Reverse hollow? Okay. I think he looked pretty nice, actually. Yeah, I'm not opposed to it. And then the Vavillion. Alright. That's all. That's all we got. Okay. So we are going over the Gardevoir deck. So There's the Gardevoir. There's the Guard of War. So you guys uh, check us out on Instagram and YouTube. And that's where the Guard of War deck will be posted. All yeah. right. Thanks, everybody. We're out. You know, I don't want to be like this, but I don't think that was agreed upon sign-off. No? No, I thought we were going to say check us out on YouTube and Instagram. We're out. We're out. You didn't say check us out oh. on YouTube and yeah, Instagram. You said there's the Guard of War deck. And then I said Instagram and Well, maybe YouTube you're right then. Maybe I was wrong on this one. I, I feel like that's what I did. I, I don't know. Because we agreed upon that. So I was, that's why I was going with it. Yeah, maybe maybe so, you're right on this. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. All right. Uh, so you're going first today then. All right. Episode 51. 51, yep. So let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. Let's run down these cards and see what they got, they got for us. So our first, our first Pokemon, because we always do our Pokemon first, and then our trainers, and so on and so forth. Yeah, by the way, that wasn't that greatest pack. Okay. I thought the Galarian Slowbro looked cool. And that's about it, though. So. Okay. And the Karina's focused. It's like Lily, but not good. 
So here we go, we got a, the Gardevoir V. He's a 210 uh, HP Psychic type. For one Psychic, Magical Shot for 30. For two Psychic and one Colorless, Swelling Pulse for 120 plus. If this Pokemon was healed during this turn, this attack does 80 more damage. Oh, wow. So it could do 200 damage. Yeah, for three, not bad. Yeah, not, not bad. All right. And then, let's see. So next we have a basic Pokemon. It is the Snubble. Two Bs in that, if you're wondering. Snubble. Yeah. Uh, 80 HP Psychic. For a Psychic and a Colorless Sharp Fang for 30. And we have two, three Snubble. Three Snubble. Then uh, he evolves into the Grand Bowl. Only one B in that, if you were wondering. Wow, this thing is 4-7. Wow. Little tiny guy. Little tiny... I think if you saw that thing, you'd be frightened. 4 feet 7 inches. Yeah, it's not that tiny. It's, it's almost like 5 dog. feet. What? It's like a dog. Like a big dog. Yeah. 130 HP Psychic. First Psychic and a Colorless. Jaw Lock for 50. During your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon can't retreat. How much is away? 107.4 pounds. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, I guess it's like a person. Like a pretty decently built person. Yeah. Then, uh, for two Psychic and a Colorless, Headbutt Bounce for 130. We have two Grand Bull. Nice. Our next Pokemon is the Cliff Fairy, which used to be Psychic and which used to be Colorless. Used to be psychic. Used to be, it is psychic. used to be fairy. I mean, and yeah. Then used to be. It used to be colorless also. So, but now it's back to psychic because they're getting rid of the fairy. Sad. So, uh, for one psychic pound for for ten, and then for two colorless mini metrodome metronome, flip a coin. If heads, choose one of your opponent's attack. At one of your opponent's active Pokemon's attack and use it this attack. Hmm. That's not as fun as the metronome in, like, the game. That's not bad, though. No. For two. No, it's not. I mean, and if you get, if someone has, like, a really tough Pokemon out. Yeah, it'd be more fun, though. I'm not saying it'd be more optimal, but it definitely would be more fun if it was random what move you cho you got. You know what I mean? I don't know how you would do random, though. I don't know, roll the dice or flip a coin. We play two Cliff Fairy. I mean, how many Pokemon have three attacks? Other than, like, GXs. Right? Yeah. And then even if you did, it could be, like, roll a dice. One and two. One at first attack. Two and three. Second attack. Four, five. Wait, did, did I do something wrong? Oh, I mean no. three, four. Then five, six. Third attack. You get the idea. Yeah, but you can pick any kind of... Any Pokemon. Oh, any Pokemon. Yeah. Well... Oh, your opponent's active Pokemon. Yeah, that's okay. what I thought. Okay. So I don't know. Or you could have done... It could... Most Pokemon only have two, right? Exactly. So you could so just flip a coin. You, you flip heads. If heads do the first attack, if tails do the second attack. Exactly. Because in the, in the game, Metronome, you know? Yeah. It it uh, picks out of all the attacks in the game, it picks one at random. And that's like... That's what you should... That's what it should be. If you flip a coin, you should do one of the two attacks. Exactly. And heads should be the... the like Because it says if it's heads, you get to choose an attack, right? Yeah. If it ta tails, you don't do any attack. So all they got to do is write on there, yeah, flip heads, do the second attack. You get tails, do the first attack. If there's only one attack, this, this, and you flip tails, does nothing at all. Yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah. Okay, so uh, so the evolution is Cliff Able for 100 HP psychic type Pokemon. And he has an ability of Lunar blessing once during your turn if your active pokemon has an uh, has any psychic energy attached you may heal 20 damage from it and it recovers from special conditions well that's where that works with the gardevoir yeah so you know you're healing 20 damage and doing 80 more damage you're doing 80 more damage so that's good and then for one psychic and two colorless magical shot for 80 we play two of these guys. So, from what I can tell so far, this is actually not horribly built. Yeah, it seems pretty good so far. Next, we have a basic Pokemon. It is the Dreepy, 60 HP Psychic. 
for one psychic, quick attack for 10 damage, flip a coin if heads, this attack does 10 more damage. We have okay. three Dreepy. All right. Then next we have the Dracloak. See now, there, there's only one attack, right? Yeah. So you flip a coin, if you get tails, you do nothing. Yeah, I agree. I definitely agree. I think they needed to do a little better job on that card. Yeah. Okay. Lazy. Yeah. So the Dracloak, 90 HP uh, Psychic. For one colorless, summon, search your deck for a Dreepy and put it onto your bench, then shuffle your deck. Ooh, not bad. Then for two Psychic, bite for 40. We have three Dracloaks. Lastly, we have the Dragapult. 150 HP Psychic. Its ability is Infiltrator. If any damage is done to this Pokemon by attack, flip a coin. If heads, prevent that damage. Wow. Wow. Then, uh, for two Psychic, Phantom Force for 120. Put three damage counters on your opponent's bench Pokemon in any way you like. And I will mention free retreat. And we got two of these. Ah, uh, free retreats. The good old free retreats. That's pretty. Okay, our last Pokemon is the Halucha. 90 HP colorless Pokemon. Uh, for one colorless Windfall, shuffle your hand into your deck, draw five cards. Or for one colorless, speed tack for 30. We play two of these. Not bad. That seems like it's going to be pretty decent. Yeah, the Halucha is kind of a letdown. Uh, it's good for like a beginning, like uh, if you got you need to do card draws. Yeah. You need to get your hand going a little yeah, more. Yeah, I guess the only reason you'd play him if you is if you have a bad hand. Yeah, like if he's your starting Pokemon, he's will be okay. Yeah. So uh, next we have a trainer. It, we're into our trainers with the items. The suspicious food tin. Heal 80 damage from one of your Pokemon that has at least one Psychic Energy attached. If you heal any damage in this way, discard a Psychic Energy from it. We have one su suspicious food tent. So we talked about the, before the before we started our podcast, we were talking about this, and that uh, suspicious food tin it's only in the half set. Uh, suspicious that it's in this stack. It's, what, what set is it? The Shining Fates, no, maybe? No, Champion's Path. Champion's Path. Yeah, That's yeah. what I said. I know. Right? <laughs> our next uh, our next trainer is the potion. We all know what the potion does. It heals 30 damage from one of your Pokemon. All right. And then we got another classic, an oldie but a goodie. Uh, switch, an item. I bet you guys were missing us here, here, hearing us say that. The while oldie we were on but a goodie. Yeah. It's an item. Uh, switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. We have well, two. There you go. And now, uh, this is a, a good one that's made a comeback, and uh, we're, I'm kind of glad that it's back. Uh, the Level Ball, search your deck uh, search, your, search your deck for a Pokemon with 80 HP or less, reveal it and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Great card, lots of fun. Um, it's 80 HP? 90 HP. Okay. Did I say 80? You did. 90 it is. All right. Move it up to 90. Yeah, I, that's why I was a little confused, that's why. So, uh, here's the thing, uh... I really like the level ball. Yeah, I'm glad it's back. And I've been noticing a lot of people a lot of people are playing it in their Mad Party deck. It doesn't work. No. It's not a it's not a good add to the Mad Party deck. And the reason I say it's not a good add is because with Mad Party you want to discard cards. Yeah. And with the level ball, you don't discard anything, you just get it. No, it's too optimal. Yeah, it's very optimal. Now, um, I guess maybe one would be okay. Yeah. So in case you want to do, you want to use your, uh, use your Poltergeist, 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 I don't Poltergeist. know, Poltergeist, whatever it is, the teapot looking thing, <laughs> if you use that, uh, the ability for that, you want to, might want to draw something with the level ball that has Mad Party. Yeah. So like, uh, a Bunnelby or, oh yeah, um, or if you don't have a the, lot of cards in your hand. The Denny. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. It That's, has a sideways L on it or a V. It's a V. It's you think a v. so? Oh yeah, it's a V. Could be a sideways no, L. No, it's, it's a V. Why? Because it's the flying V. Why would they or have Vano. a V? I guess. Yeah. I guess. Maybe or that's level be ball. Maybe we should change our logo. Make it the level ball. Yeah, maybe. I do. I like don't the know. Great ball though. I'm very happy with the great ball. I. It's the best. I think it's the best one. Yeah. Uh, next we have the it does, it also net matches the Pokemon nicely. Yeah, it really does. I think the level level balls wouldn't do so good. No, it wouldn't. Yeah. It'd look out of place. Yeah, weird. 
Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, why am I too deep into that one? Yeah. Well, it's okay. Down the rabbit hole. Sometimes you need to chase Bugs Bunny down there. Yeah, there you go. Uh, we have the Evolution Incense. The good item. One. Another good one. It is. Wait till you hear what it does. Okay. <laughs> Search your deck for an Evolution Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. You got two. There you go. It's good for the Dragapult, which I think the Dragapult is a gonna crazy be, good card. It's like, going to be great for this deck, too. Oh, so. yeah. Um, so, speaking of the Great Ball, I have the Great Ball in my hand. Wow. So, we have two Great Balls. Not an actual Great Ball, it's just a card. Look at the top seven cards of your deck. You may reveal a Pokemon you find there and put it into your hand, then shuffle your, the other cards back into your deck. All right. Two. Hey, do they make those tin packs... You, with the great ball, you know, like the metal Pokeball? Yeah. They do make a great ball? Yeah. Why don't we have that one? It's too hard to find. I guess so. all cards are hard to find at this point. Well, the great ball one is a hard one to find anyways. It was never easy to find. Yeah. I mean, I've seen the Pokeball one and the Ultra Ball one, never the great ball one. Yeah. All right, next we have the BD, Supporter. Attach a basic energy card from your hand to one of your bench Pokemon. We're into our supporters. Into our supporters. He's a pretty good card. Very solid, I think. Another supporter, Sonya. Um, search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon or two basic energy cards. Reveal them, put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. So you can only get Pokemon or energy. You can't get one of each. So Yeah. Just to let you know, Sonya only lets you pick one or the other. doesn't let you do both. That's good information. Yep. Next, we have everyone's favorite, Hop. We have four of them. Hippity Hop. And lets you draw three cards. There you go. Very good. Not really, though. Not really good. But it's good for a base set for beginner uh, level for one. For a level Pokeball one. Yeah. So our next one is the gym trainer and uh, another supporter, of course. Draw two cards. If any of your Pokemon were knocked out during your opponent's last turn, draw two more cards. Oh. So I got an issue with this, how they have it on here. Look at this. They have, um, so right, draw two cards, right, period. Yeah. If any of your Pokemon, right, capital P, yeah. were knocked, knocked with a capital K out with a capital O, what is that? Well, maybe. They, like, use, like, knocked out as, like, a proper, like, term, which doesn't seem right. Right? But maybe, that's, that has to be what it is, Right. Like, right. they, they use knocked out as, like, a proper term, like... Well, I'm going to have to look deeper into this rabbit hole. This like, is it's really, original? This has gotten me... This is bugging me now. This is bugging me now. Yeah, it's like... It's like, you know how in, like, Mortal Kombat they say, like, fatality? Yeah. I think it's similar to that. Like, it's the thing, you know? Hmm. Okay. That's my theory. So we got two of those. So... But I'm I do not, see what you mean. I'm not, I'm not about that. I'm not against you on this. I'm just coming up with the theory as to maybe it why. Sounds, it sounds like a... A theory. All right. Next, we have your favorite, the Dan supporter. Uh, draw two cards. You and your opponent play rock, paper, scissors until somebody wins. If you win, draw two more cards. You know, they should have something a bit more cre clever than rock, paper, scissors, like Reggie Rock, Cartana, Sizor. Right. Because those are all, like, Cartana's paper, Reggie Rock is... A rock. Cartana's paper? Yeah. He's pa He's like a, a... Like, that's his thing, you know? He's like a paper, but he's also a blade. Oh. And then Sizor, obviously. Right. You know, we should... Instead of having Mewtwo on our logo, we should put Dan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, and then our last uh, supporter is Professor's Research, Professor Juniper. Discard your hand and draw seven cards. So, I'm still kind of aggravated that you can't use the old Juniper because it does the exact same thing. Yeah, that's really stupid. Uh, it, it just doesn't say Professor's Research, so you can't use it. Same thing with Lysander. The silly yeah. um, boss's orders. It has to say boss's orders or you can't use it. So Whoever came up with that is It's silly. just Pokemon. I, I think we need to, to go against Pokemon, everybody, and tell them... We're going to use the cards that we want to use because it's the same card. Yeah. It says the same thing. Yeah. like they, they shouldn't be able to dictate that we can't use that card in tournament because 
It doesn't, it doesn't say thing. professor research. Yeah. It's like the quick ball. I know it says quick ball, but it doesn't say the exact same thing on what the quick ball does. The old, but you can use the old quick ball. Yeah. So I don't get it, and I'm not I'm not happy about it. So that's my rant. Or the for, potion, right? You can use the old potion, but yeah. it doesn't say the same thing. Exactly. Yeah. It's the same. It's the same. But uh, we have 18 psychic energy. But you can use the old switch all you want. Yeah, it's... All you want. You want to use the old switch? Go right ahead. You know what it is? The old switch. Well... You can use the original switch. Well, no, you know why they did that, though. It's because these cards are a bit more valuable than, like, switch or quick ball. You know what I mean? Like, boss's orders. Like, that's a pretty expensive. Like, I don't know how that's going for it now, but I know it was expensive at one point. I want to use the full art Lysander. I know, I know. Not the boss's orders one, just yeah. the regular one. Well, the full art, and two, like, the thing is, too, if they made it into standard, then the full art by standard would skyrocket. Right. All those old cards would be great. Even the, like, the reprint in the best of X and Y or whatever. Right. So, anyways. All right, enough ranting and raving about the, about the silly cards that, why they won't let us use the silly cards like that, but that's really all, uh, neither here nor there, I guess. I agree. So all right, let's see what we got here. Oh, let's, the quick start rules look a bit different today. Oh, you want to talk about this? This is one. Of the oh, best. the yeah, go for it. You oh, you, you want me to talk about it? I don't care. I already said about the quick start rules. So. Okay. Well, we got a uh, giant coin with Gardevoir on it, and it is a purple. Purple. Yeah, it's purple. Very nice looking coin. Very large though. Uh, my problem with the large coins though, they're hard to flip. They are, I agree. But they're good for show. I'd rather have the small coins. Remember the old small coins? Like the small, small yeah. coins? I yeah. I like those. Can I, I get those too. back? I do too. Or are we not going, like, are the coins more just collectibles at this point? Because Probably more collectibles because people roll dice. Yeah, people roll dice and don't, you know, so. Which I think defeats the purpose of flipping a coin. You know? Oh, you're right, Victini. I was right, Victini. Guardy against Victini V. Turns about Gardevoir and Victini are arch enemies. Yeah. Not Zacian. No. Wonder what she has against Victini or he. This could be either. Uh, either. So there it is. Uh, we have the playmat. Did you go a, over anything else? Or are you going over? Oh, to go over something. Here we have the we v battle the quick start rules. Uh, it's pretty standard. Uh, quick start when you're when you want a quick start to play Pokemon, you're like, you go to these and they say, hey, this is what you do, and then you just follow the rules. You follow the rules. If you're really struggling to play, though, get the Battle Academy thing. Yeah, the Battle Academy is really the way to go if you want to learn how to play Pokemon. Yeah, and then, let's see what else we got here real quick. And then, uh, well, anyways, the playmat, though, uh, it's your standard playmat. It has your active spot, mm -hmm. where your deck goes, your discard pile, your five spots for your bench, your six prize card spots, and then it tells you the beginning of your turn, what you do, you draw, set two, put basic Pokemon onto your bench, three, attach an energy to one of your Pokemon, you can only do this once per turn, retreat your active Pokemon if you want, only once per turn, um, five, evolve your Pokemon as many as you want, but not on your first turn, um, or the first turn they come into play, you can't evolve them. Play trainer cards. Uh, you can play as many trainers as you want, but you can only play one supporter. Um, use abilities. Um, follow the directions on the card, whatever, for the abilities. I didn't know uh, step seven was play abilities. I always felt like you can play abilities whenever you want. You can, I say. So, and then attack is your final thing. Once you attack, your turn is over. You know what? I think the use abilities is there, though, because, like, just so you don't forget. Yeah, and it's like like the last thing you can do. You know what I right. mean? Right, right. You've done everything else. Yeah, yeah. I guess, I guess I get that. And then so not, let's see. Well, not if your abilities like to get more cards. Oh, but Frostmoth. Like I'm thinking like Frostmoth, the Ice Dance. Oh, to get put energy out. Yeah, like you could do that throughout your entire turn. Right. Okay. So I don't know. I don't think the order of that matters too much. No. I think it's just the loose guideline. Yeah. And then, let's see, we have our special condition cards that tell you what to do when you have a special condition. So if you're poisoned, you do what it says when it says poison. And okay. Then burn and all that fun stuff. All right. And then we have the, uh, um, a little bit how to, how to play the deck a little bit more to give you a little better idea. 
um, how to heal up, how to launch a Dragapult, dodge the damage. Um, these are all little tips and stuff that they give you to make the deck a little better. Um, and then on the other side, they got about the Victini deck, which we're not going to go into because we don't have that today. Um, the only other thing is there's these uh, coins that they always give us. The oh, damage counters, yeah. Damage counter coins. So that's it. The lame ones. Yeah, that's it. Uh, that's going to wrap us up for today, isn't it? Yeah, I'd say so. I think this is a pretty decent deck. Yeah. And well, not, not a very high skill ceiling. I don't think you need to be too advanced of a player to play yeah. this deck. We'll so. see how it plays out and see if it's a good deck or not. So. Yeah. Um, so I think that's all we got for today. That's all we got. Make sure you uh, check out our raffle for the Charizard, uh, Needle Queen, and Metal Frying Pan. That is ending this weekend. So I want everybody to sign up. And make sure to leave a comment too, make, saying well, what you think about things. That's, you got to go back and check our old um, YouTube videos and comment on people's posts. Well, I give them hearts. Oh, do you? I well, do. You don't comment on all of them? Not all of them. Okay. Well, that's all I got for today. This is Dan. This is Nick, and this was Happy Vanna's Pokemon.